Okay, guys. So it's been a while. Um, let's go over a few stuff today. But I like to show you two. I like show you some stuff first. First off, if you haven't checked out my store, check out my store. Um, you can also like I have a couple items here right now. I have a re do you remember that I told you guys I would put together a pack of redeems that all you could use royalty free. Um, I would also put the stems along with it, so you can tweak it up like the same way you'd flip samples for R and B trap and so forth, and use it in your in your projects. Um. Yeah, so I have that there. I have that done. So you can go, you can get that reading pack. That have like, that have a couple of readings in it. I will go for it just now. Um, I have a, like, if you're interested in taking my music production on, online mentorship, mm, you just get through to that. When you get there, once you purchase, once you purchase, you're supposed to get a document. And in that document, to give you the link and the details so we can start your course mm, when i say music production it will entail like everything that i do and uh, every genre techniques and so forth for booyah production ment mentorship it will just be based on booyah so things like lo-fi uh k-pop cinematic music i will not go over that in booyah production and then we have the also famous sample pack that i yeah that's just my go-to so if you want that mega kind of song you're hearing in the, the rhythms from triple key signal band so forth so forth then yeah that's the pack you need if you want that song that is that is where you get that song inside that pack so you can check out those four items i will put together another reading pack because I realized, like, so far, it has a lot of people have, have come for the reading pack. And that's, uh, that, that's, that's like, I thought of it as, for a while now, because, like, it's, it's, it's a good technique, it's a good thing to have, because um, sometimes, like, the reading is there, but it's, like, not everybody wants to, like, have a specific reading. And then sometimes people use the same reading. So if you can give people the reading to build on, and then they can do what they have to do, it could also help their productions as well. Because, yeah, like, people say, boy, I like Mega Redeem and whatnot. But then probably I'm not available for um, collaboration or so forth. And then you have to wait and so forth. So if you have the pack, you can just go there, get your Redeems, and let's go. Let's go, Suki. Then you can flip it around as well. You check? You can't go wrong. I mean, you know how much, you know much professional producers that flipping samples? Sometimes they don't flip in the same sample, the same song, exactly how it is. And, like, Professional, professional, like big, 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 big professional. Like, there is this one sample. I can get like five different, oh, four or five different K-pop songs that using that same sample. Big songs. And no one gives a shit. Okay, it's a sample. It's a loop. It's there for a reason. So, yeah, so you check out the content here, guys. Now, as I said, you have, if you have any recommendations, you can also, like, you can go to the um, channel. You can go to the channel. There is the community tab. You can use the community tab. So you can just comment on the anything. If you cannot, if you cannot make your own post, you can comment on the anyone of my posts i will see them i will get the notific i will get the um comments i will check them and i'll respond back to you as soon as i see them mm, you can also send your own message like you can use this program actually you can get in contact with me through my web page which is what a lot of people do so some people they send me messages through here i get them but i will respond back when i respond back it goes straight to the email that you use so your email and then i'll respond back so if you ever send me a message just check your email for my response that's how you get my response through your email so um someone messaged me recently and asked me about packs and i respond back to you i'm not sure if you've seen my email uh also um there was this one person that 
purchased the, um, the online mentorship, but I've not heard from you in a while. Um, what was the name again? What was the name again? Uh, hold on a bit. Let me check the name. What was the name? Yeah, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. see my 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 inbox, man. Nah, nah, nah. I can't see my inbox. <laughs> ah, yes. So, someone purchased the sample pack and the Booyah Production Online Mentorship. Now, as I said, when you purchase the mentorship course, it's an online mentorship. So, it's not a pre-recorded video. I'm doing it one-on-one -on -one with you online. So, if you guys want a pre-recorded video, I will also put that out as well. I will record videos for a, for a Booyah um, Production course and I'll put it online as well. But that one is a mentorship. As in, it's not pre-recorded where you just have to watch my video and know like whatever I teach you is that you learn in the video. It's a mentorship as in you come, we online together. If, you, if you're not good in something, I will personally teach you on that. So it's an interaction. So it's not a pre-recorded thing where you just have to come and learn what, what, what I show you. No, you come, we work together, we do it one-on-one. -on -one. So for that person, I guess you, I'm not sure if you, if, if you got the file. But in the file, it's supposed to give you a what's uh, a link for a WhatsApp a WhatsApp chat, so you can come in that you can use that link to come and talk to me. I sent back an email to you after I did not see you since you bought the course the the um mentorship and nothing up to this point. Um, I still waiting for you because you purchase you purchase your um your online mentorship, so you have the right to it. Um, as soon as you, I guess you, I don't know if you, you're not ready or what, but as soon as you're ready, um, just get in contact with me. Um, and then we'll start it as soon as you, you're ready. Cause yeah, you, you bought your course. So usually I would clear my emails cause like I have like a ton of emails coming through sometimes, but your email is still there just so I can always go back and see your, your name and your email. Because um, and when I say email, any or somebody purchase something, I automatically get a notification of it, and I can know what you what is purchased. So for that person, the name of the buyer is on the Valdo Tuse. So Valdo Tuse um email the jocks the jockstar 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 one of them. I sorry, my pronunciation. I have two ways to pronounce things. This is what happens when you speak more than one languages. Um, the jokester at hotmail.com. Valo to say. That's the that, that that's that's what I have for the person. So Valo, I've been trying to get in contact with you through the community. I also made made a post about it. Um get in contact with me as soon as possible. <coughs> Send an email through my my email is also on the page. So as soon as you see that, you can send an email to me saying use value and whatnot. If you have to put a contact number for me, put that as well. I will message you and then we'll work on what we have to do one time because I've been waiting on you for a while now for that course. So value to say as soon as you you get that, let link me. Um, If anyone of all you know value to say, get in contact with him for me, please. Because, yeah. I don't want anybody to say, yo, they purchased their thing and they didn't get it. And then he paid you. You paid you paid you paid a lot for for your course because like seventy US, bro, seventy US. So getting on that with me as soon as possible. So yeah, um, so that's for it. Um, the transaction was on in October. Yeah, since October. So Valo, get in contact with me, please. Okay, so now back to business. So yeah, as I said, you go there, once you purchase any one of them course, you get a PDF file. Ensure you see the PDF file. Ensure you check the PDF file that you get when you when you purchase the course. It gives you the information of what, how the course is going to run, what program you need, how we're going to do it online, like what program we're going to use. It will give you a lot. It will also give you the link for WhatsApp to get in touch with me. 
So that's all we have. Okay, so what was next? So yeah, so once you do that, you know what to do. Make sure you get that PDF file. If for some reason you do not get through that, just send me an email. Once you send me the email, I, as I said, I get a notification for every purchase. Once you send me the email, contact me. If you have any problems, I will know automatically you. Yes, you just purchased that. And once you tell me you're having problems, I will mess, I will contact you back one time. If when you send in the um like if you get a problem with it and you send in a a, a a contact, like you can contact me for you. So if anything, you can just put like whatever your, your problem is and if you have a contact information that you want me to get back to you on, because probably you don't check your email often as as or something, just put it there. I will I will use it. So if you have not followed me yet on Spotify, follow me on Spotify. I release like lo-fi and stuff here. Yeah, I'll be releasing more of my boy instrumentals here as well. So you can go there and stream them. Um, but yeah, so guys, follow me on Spotify. If you're not a Spotify person, you can also follow me on Apple. So I have my products going there as well. It's on all platforms basically. So Spotify, Apple, Deezer, YouTube Music. It's on those guys. It's, it's, it's there. Okay, so, yeah, so let's get down to business. So initially, yeah, I wanted to do something where I would like, um, I was thinking of making Buyo in Ableton, because like, I doing everything in FL, but like probably some of you guys use Ableton or you want to try doing it in Ableton. I've never done it before, but we'll get free to one of them days, okay? No. Oh. What just happened? Okay, so it's been a while since we made a rhythm. So let's go and make a rhythm. So first off, boom. Get that shelf. Oh, and when when you see my list of plugins, do it your head, you check? Do it your head. So if any one of you want to look for plugins, uh, yeah, let's just run through my list now. So yeah, I know some of us look for look for use them things to look for plugins. Like we not no different. Like I, I would a couple of videos I watch, I would do different things and see different plugins and how to use them. So yeah, so that's my list of plugins. Ah, I need to buy a new mouse. My mouse double clicks a lot. The first thing. Let's get that up that high shelf. Just so we can properly assess the frequencies. Now let's get started. This thing says 158. Let's put the megabit sample pack. Ah, I'm making an extension for the sample pack. So you guys can look out for that soon once I finish it. It's just that like I do always add the time. So sometimes I put time in, sometimes I put time in something else. Because I have other things doing like um putting together other packs. So yeah, I put in together a couple of other sample packs and whatnot, so So as soon as I finish it up, you can check it out. My most likely post them other packs as well. But yeah, so let's get let's get forward guys. Let's put on our layering arrangement. 
yeah, you see what happening? Like my mouse double kicking, so it's like it opening things on its own, closing things on its own. <sighs> Let's get a call bell. I wanna them, two of them. Oh yeah, like when are we going to have events again, man? When are we going to have another see you? It's been a while. Okay, so first thing, I'm get my automation in. I really like to stay in one key most of the times. I don't know why. You know, there are certain things you just done, you just kind of explain it. That's one of them. So there's another way to like identify Mega. Like most of my friends, like if they hear something, they'll be like, yeah, there's a Mega. Because for some reason, Mega have a unique song, which is the craziness. Once you hear something crazy, it does associate it with Mega. For some reason. So, yeah, and, and your friends know you, yeah? Your good friends know you. So, yeah, them boys will be like, yeah, man, I, 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 that, that, is, that is a Mega, that is a Mega. Or if, man, if you're talking casually, them man will just come up. I probably imagine that when I hear that, I just know it's mega that make that one time. Yeah, that, that, is, that is the condition usually. That's how crazy it is. So when man like Ajmal, you yeah, thing, Ajmal just be like, mega that deal. Now check, nice boys you with long time. Check. And Ajmal, hey, how to see now? It's like we raise up producing together, you know. Okay, check, it's like we had no Ableton before, but we wasn't like at the level we had now as producers. So we link up, we start producing together, start a band. So yeah, basically like if I have to like see like anybody like I spend most of my production time with is Ajmal actually. Because we actually come up together in that music kind of thing. Making rooms for Danger Band and then eventually I try my hand at a rhythm that I made one day after a friend, an old friend of mine's. Well, we not in touch again, but yeah, it was my it was my partner self. I guess you can't say my best friend. Basically, it was my neighbor as well at the time. Um, yeah. So, and I made that rhythm. He listened to it. He was the one that actually encouraged me to send it for Triple K. Yeah, you check. So when I made it, he listened to it and he was like, boy, that rhythm song is nice. <laughs> Try and see if you can send it for Triple K. And then, yeah, I take the leap. I got in contact with um, Kendall, sent it across to him. I listened to it and he liked it. Then I think that was just before independence. Yeah, independence should jump up. Because if I remember, um, step, step one, step two, make way for the blue. That's the first time that song played was, um, do you know, independent should jump up. And yeah, like that was the first, first time I actually did something for Trip K. I think that was 2014 or something like that. 2014 or 2015, one of them. Mm, yeah, 2015 was my first dream for Trip K. Sent it for him. He liked it. And then... Actually, was was we there? We um should jump up. It's like they you, they they punch and redeem, and then I was there for part of mine, and then like I stop, I check and like I heard him song the familiar. Yeah. And the fact that I say that song is so ironic here, yeah, cause even up to this day, I would hear him punch and I'd be like, I heard him song the familiar. Yeah. Cause like yeah, my head don't be there. <laughs> my head don't be there.
my head really doesn't be there. Even when I'm making rhythms, you can see my head don't be there. Can I just put things there? Put things over there. Ah, uh, shift that down so. Mm, yeah. I don't see fall yourself. I don't see a madman. Yeah. Madman style of making rhythm. But it does work. Just like the mad scientist. Okay, so we have a few samples. So let's run in that for now. So yeah, uh, I sent a rhythm for Triple K. Yeah, it on the road, and then boom, I realized, yo, that's your rhythm. And that was the first, first time I actually had a rhythm for Triple K, and actually, yeah, my rhythm play for Triple K, like on the road. Yeah. Let's try something different. Let's try that. I want to try a madness. So as all you know, like I always use like a few tunes from like the natural sample back most of the time, sometimes. And then the rest is from your boy himself. That's why it's where all the madness is. But why is that thing problem? My mouth stressing me out. Yeah, all you see is for yourself again. I just do things. Okay, so. Okay, so that's what we have. Let's layer it. Okay, so now I will layer it. Let's octave. Ah, oh, shit. Octave down. Uh, 
I know you know I like to pan things, especially when I have to the same song. I'll pan one left, pan one right. And blend the volume nicely. Run that for now. Didn't we? So all these background samples.
see what we have there. I think that one should be the start. You know? So let's just rearrange that.
It's all it tunes are here. Now let's get some background times. Let's see what again we can put inside there.
Ale ty dyskrepancje nie. Good to go. We could probably add like a few more elements, but I don't want to make it too noisy.
Mets, du som har kvar den. Double click in. Mm. Let's try something crazy. to give you a track and then boom right, let's go back to this frequency I don't want. space but I do have plenty instruments so let's not give it too much space I mean plenty samples
like that. <laughs> I like that. Too low. Let's go, yeah. Yeah, that's our input today, guys. Uh, let me make a fast copy of that. Um, call it export session. The reason I have it like that is because, like, um, I gotta say, like, right now, and to export it and send it across to either one of the bands to check out. I'll have that. When the band say yes, they want it, I'd come back here and I'd get the export session, which is just that loop and send it across. Because... Sending them that whole thing don't make any sense because that's the same thing over and over again. It's just going to make extra extra space. Uh make the file arbitrarily long, which as a form of musician, yeah, like space is necessary. So yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. Um don't forget to go and check out the various stuff I told you, like my Spotify, uh, my Apple's music, my store. Um, also, like, if you go on my YouTube, you can see, like, my various links, like, in the corner right here. I can see Spotify, so if you click there, it'll bring you to my artist page. My Instagram, Facebook page. Uh, this is called Linktree. If you click on this, it brings you to a link that actually gives you everything. So like you yeah, have yeah, my my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, my TikTok, um, Spotify, YouTube, twi Twitch, my email address, and then yeah you can check out like different things. Oh yeah, check out um uh, Janik's album. That's the artist I worked with in Japan. So you can go check out the album like my my lo-fi release, my other lo-fi release. The link to my store. Yeah, so just check out these things, guys. And boom. Oh, one more thing. We have um, we have a Discord. No, well, not my YouTube. We have a Buyo Discord. Something that we decided to start. So you can get it right here. Once you click on that link, it brings you to the Buyo Discord link. So like it's a it's a community server. So you have like producers, artists, 
listeners. Like you don't need to be a music person, like music creator for it to come in. So you can come in there, you can like link up with the rest, various um, people, the Booyah Wise. Um, so let's say you're from St. Martin, you're probably checking out like my videos. Like I already know like some fellas, from, some guys from St. Martin checking out my videos. In the Discord server, like I'll be there, other producers will be there. You can link up, um, collaborate, associate, like get to know each other, like check. So like, it's a nice little community, even if like you're not a, a music creator, an artist, a, a producer, you can come in as well. So like let's say um your favorite artist, your favorite producer there, like you can you can mingle, you can talk and whatnot. So if you're interested in that, the link the Discord link is here. It I will also have it in the descriptions below for the for the video, so you can check it out there as well. But once again, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.